shine because they hate us. Floss cause they the greatest. We tryna buy back our 40 acres. Yeah, yeah, this is Shot Stimuli, aka the present. Happy birthday, Merry Christmas. And I'm asking y'all, where's my 40 acres, man? Y'all know what it is. Tune in. Yeah. I got this weight on my shoulder. I'm just saying for y'all, the game's over. I'm done playing. Overtime is over. Yeah, I used to fuck around. No more. Doing this again, an interview with Shot Stimuli. What's good, man? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm here, man. A3C, you know what it is. I'm, um, trying to infiltrate into the underground, man. They, uh, they don't really let me in too often, but, you know, when I'm here, I'm here. I'm trying to jump on the stage and spit, like, seven bars, you know, just have fun. This is what, man, I don't, how many years you been doing this, man? Doing A3C or yeah, doing rap? doing A3C. Oh, I've been sneaking in since 07, but they just let me perform, like, 09, you know? So, um, it's like my third year is just showing up, trying to pretend I rap well and, you know, get some more fans. Yo, what up? Yeah, man. That's it, you know. I enjoy this, though, man. I, I, I recently snuck into Atlanta full time. I still go back and forth to Brooklyn, but I'm here, so this is real enjoyable. We don't, we don't get much hip hop like this. So. That seems to be the move, man. Like, what's the biggest difference between, like, Atlanta and NY right now? Walking. In New York, I walk a lot. I get more cardio. Out here, I'm driving everywhere to do anything, you know. If you want to go to the bathroom, you got to drive. Like, it's just crazy. Um, you know, I drive to get my mail, throw the garbage out. In New York, I'm walking everywhere, take the train. Um, the weather's a little different, it's a little chillier. People are less friendly in New York. And, um, you know, it's a hustle and bustle feeling in New York. Here, it's not, it's not as laid back, but it's just a little different, you know. You go outside at 4 in the morning, it's just like people out there. Out here, it does stop at some point, you know. But um, I appreciate New York more now. And when I'm there, I'm just grinding. I'm doing what I got to do, and I get the hell out. I went home this summer, got arrested, people got killed, I had to go. So you released a tape a while ago, how do you feel about the acceptance of the tape you released? Like, I was a fan of The last one I dropped, The Proposal, man, you know, it's different when an artist like myself does a CD about relationships, marriage, anything like that, but nobody's doing it. So, I've had the weirdest people come to me. When I say weird, I mean people that I wouldn't expect liking the CD, you know, the Sean Prices of the world, telling me that they like a CD about relationships. and. Um, it's very interesting, you know, because those songs are in-depth stories that are talking about somebody about to get married, you know, dealing with cheating and uh, financial problems in the crib, like a whole bunch of stuff. And I just think that's something different that, you know, not every rapper's going to touch on. So all the feedback has been really good. I'm not going to lie to you. I, I wish I could sit here and tell you it's been mixed. Um, you know, I don't like it anymore. Once I drop something, I hate it. So, but I, I think... <laughs> I think in like two years I'll go back to it and be like, you know what, this wasn't that bad. Yeah. Yes. I have a book that I'm working on. Yes, it's not what you expect, again, from a rap guy. It's a bathroom book. Don't steal that. Um, I got it copyrighted. What's the bathroom book? Explain what that is. It's, a, it's the number one, number two book. So <laughs> if you want to do number two, this is the number one book you should have. <laughs> I, I got this site called MondayRamble.com where I start. I started last year just writing a whole bunch of crap because when I went to publishers with the book out there, they was like, you need to build up your fan base. So I built up the site. Now I got a publishing deal. And it's just a kooky book with just like random writings. If you go to MondayRamble.com, you'll get an understanding. Um, outside of that, I'm working on a CD with Coast to Coast, Mixtapes.com again. We did Unsung together, so we're doing something else. And then, if all goes well, I'm going to do something that's never been done. And that's 12 EPs in 2012. And I'm going to pay my rent every month with a mixtape. <laughs> so we're going to do the Rent Tape series. Baby. If I feel like it. Don't steal that either, man. You know, you look at age with everything. Man. It's not going to be 12, man. It's going to be 11 and a half or 12 I mean, and a half. We'll see what happens, man. But, you know, that's what, I'm, that's what I'm fixing to do. I'm in Atlanta. I got to change up my slang. I'm, I'm fixing to do that. You know? we'll see what happens. So let everybody know what stage you're rocking at the A3C this year, man. I'm rocking on the iStandard um, stage. This is beat, beat producer stage going on. I don't, I'm 
I might sneak on another one, man. I swear to you, I might. I just might jump on and just start rapping, you know, some bars and stuff. But check me out over there. I might just form, get a circle formed in the middle if that's not enough. If I don't, if I don't satisfy my appetite, I might just like grab a mic and just like rap right in the middle of everybody, and hopefully somebody gives me some love so that next year I can get a big stage and they can treat me like an underground artist that I should be treated like. I got this weight on my shoulder. I'm just saying for y'all.